to Jordan and welcome to Zinc. To your friends and relatives, what is it you do? I'll start with is, and I'm just going to talk for just a few minutes, I'll show a very short video, and then a couple of raw actively saying, we think this is going to happen, the solar system is a washing wash. Thanks, Thank you. There's a sense that if a country doesn't have its own space program, if it isn't launching its own satellites, then it's not part of the world space program, which is not true. The amount of people worldwide that worked on the Curiosity rover that has landed on Mars was over 10,000. They specifically work at the California Institute of Technology. So I work for the California... Uh, to a company acquired by Google, to a vice president at Google. And we were happy that when he came here, he said, we don't have this at Google. Or whatever his qualifications are. What makes you different is the value that you add to the world. There was a cooling system that NASA needed, and it didn't matter whether the cooling system came from Jordan or came from a U.S. company. What mattered that it was that it did what we needed it to do. So we'd like to be nation blind about where things come from, color blind, nation blind, so that because these these pieces of equipment have to operate in very critical environments. And so it, it doesn't matter who builds them as long as they work. But we're not different, and you're not with a space program just yet, or a satellite program, right? That makes sense for where on Mars. And we look back at the Earth, and what we see is one planet. If you want to work in NASA or any other great places, all you need to do is to trust in yourself. That's essential. That's the key ingredient to all of the great stuff all around the world. And we believe that here in Georgia, we need such innovations. We need these features. So the tools are there for you. The whole is a cooling system across the country. Is uh, uh, this he was talking about humility, and uh, we always try to do something for the unity. And it's multidisciplinary, so we combine the team. Actually, by the way, uh, back to your comment, we have ongoing internships from the rest of them. <laughs> but when they built this, it was very difficult for us. They, they're Turkish. Uh, I really want to try and inspire them to, to not be bogged down with what's happening in the region, what's happening in our country. It's, it's about us as an our only resource is us in this country. I mean, no water, no oil, no gas. I mean, we really got, you know, on that on that uh, on that front, we weren't we weren't that lucky. But we were very lucky with the people we have. Very challenges came from, as you saw from the video, we successfully landed, and we've been. I think the female. What would happen if all the planets stand in one line, and when does it happen? This is something to be answered. Doing what NASA is doing is something to find. 2.4 billion uh, more than Hawaii in the Chinese. <laughs> we have to work hard. Work hard on. Sometimes, unfortunately, as well, we think that uh, the West might have better ideas. They might have uh, um, more innovative things. More, and as Mrs. Nagin said, that we're all we all we're all humans. We all have the same mind. And. Um, and what's the solution for our generation is just more confidence, I think, that's it. budget for that. Dr. Abir wanted to answer you, maybe she'll answer you. It's been in the media. One is that uh, recently it was said that it's, it's very likely that we might end what NASA is doing, because I know that NASA has contributed to so many, but not because of engineers or non-engineers. I don't manage anybody. There's, there's... Thank you very much. Uh, I did uh...